Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance, and this is Sagittarius energy. Okay, so this is a card of balance. This is a card of moderation. This is a card of patience. Someone is wanting to move forward in a, in a more peaceful way with you. They want to take a different approach. There is an energy of wanting forgiveness, healing. Um, this is someone who has love for you, and they, they want to establish balance in this connection there's an energy here of wanting to compromise with you make peace with you um, but there's a de definitely a very sincere energy here with the temperance um, this person is also practicing a lot of control self-control um, this is someone who's choosing to be more mindful about you know how they allow themselves to get taken by their feelings or their their um, impulses there's an energy of someone who wants to be more moderate moving forward um, this is someone who wants to be more mature as well so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the eight of wands fire energy page of cups water energy and the nine of cups water energy so there's definitely a very considerate communication coming towards you from this person it's like they are being more careful with how they communicate with you the things they say how they say it this is someone who is choosing to really think before speaking or acting anymore you know because they actually value the connection with you and they want to preserve it so we do see some sort of news coming from this person it's like this person is reaching out or they are communicating with you but we are seeing back and forth communication communication and it's productive you know, with the temperance there, there's purpose behind it. There's also a desire not to cause harm from this person. They want to be more peaceful moving forward. Um, this person has a lot of love for you. With the Page of Cups, this person's feelings for you are quite a lot. You know, it's like this is someone who kind of idealizes you. They are very infatuated by you. But at times, it's like in the past... This person may have acted in very emotionally immature ways or they could have been very Im Im immature especially emotionally and they are working on this because we have the temperance there which is someone who's trying to moderate themselves they're trying to learn how to balance their emotions to not get so swept away by their their intense feelings so this is someone who's trying to be better they are trying to be more mature moving forward with you. Um, the Nine of Cups is again that energy of them seeing you as a wish fulfillment. They see you as someone who actually makes them really happy. Um, at times, this person gets triggered and they get carried away. But um, at the core of it, this is someone who has love for you. They are motivated by feelings of love. Um, desire, passion towards you. Um, this is someone who sees themselves being with you in a partnership. They do want a harmonious union with you. Um, and they do, with the Nine of Cups, they, they, they're they content with you. There's an energy of being very satisfied with you. No one else has their eye. You know, this is someone who's only focused on you. And you're the only person who really does it for them. They don't feel this way about anyone else. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Aries. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, 
Libra Aquarius energy. So this is a card of a break here. Yeah, there could have been some sort of separation between you and this person. Um, and they have used this time to heal or to at least recognize or learn more about their triggers. There's an energy of someone who's actively doing the work. They're trying to be more conscious moving forward. This is someone who is aware, um, you know, of certain shortfalls that they have. And they've been practicing a lot of self-care and trying to heal these wounds or these triggers. Um, and we are seeing someone who is um, reaching out to you after a period of separation. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. So we have the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Sun card, Leo Energy. So the Ace of Wands is an energy of action. This is an energy showing that they are the ones initiating something towards you. They are making a move towards you. They are pursuing you. Um, so you will be hearing from this person. And again, with the Seven of Wands, it's like they they really want to fight for you. They want to fight for the connection that they have with you. And if that means having to heal and work on themselves, that's something that they are doing for the sake of this connection. Because this person, they actually are quite protective of this connection. They feel like you guys have built a lot and they don't want to lose that. You know, this is someone who really does see you as um, worth the effort. Someone, you know, they see you as someone who is, who means a lot to them and they care for you genuinely. The sun card is also showing that they see you as a source of light in their life. They see you as someone who, you know, is warm, kind, and motivates them to want to be a better person. So we are seeing someone here who has been doing work on themselves and they are wanting to have a beginning with you. They still feel so passionately towards you and you inspire this person in more ways than you even know. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Aries. Okay, so the card says a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer so there's definitely an energy of wanting to resolve something here with you wanting to reconcile with you and make peace with you uh, the cancer energy is showing me how this person is actually quite a sensitive person especially because we also have the page of cups um, they they at times can you know get taken by their emotions but this is someone who also feels very deeply for you this is someone who cares for you and they feel very comforted by you this is someone who feels a strong emotional connection to you okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you aries So the card says reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So we have that card of having taken a break, some sort of separation. There's uh, this person is initiating a reconciliation with you, and you will recognize that the energy they approach you with is way different than the energy that they had in the past. This is someone who has actively been working on themselves. They've been, um, you know, learning about themselves and. You know, there's something here that was, they, they didn't have balance in some way. Uh, we have the Nine of Cups. They could have been someone who would abuse substances or they, there's something about a lack of self-control in the past that they are currently working on moderating, balancing. This is somebody who has been tempering themselves. And you will recognize this change in them, a positive change in them when you reconcile with them. Because this person, this connection has inspired them to want to be better. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, um, Aries. So the card says playfulness. Play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. 
So there's definitely an in, an healing of the inner child. This person has worked on their traumas, their triggers, and it could even be some things that are stemming from childhood that have resulted in them acting in, in certain ways yeah, that were not beneficial to the connection. I'm also seeing an energy of healing in terms of immaturity. This person has been doing the work. They're trying to be more mature with how they approach this. And we had an incident where the cards fell out here. Yeah. It's like a lot of cards fell. This can show that this person has a lot that they want to say to you. So this person has, you know, they've been thinking a lot and they've, there's a lot that they feel they need to communicate to you. And they have a lot they want to get off their chest to you. And we also have the eight of wands. So there's a lot of communication coming from this person. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.